Welcome again. Last month, we met Tiffany Deerman and Car Hill, the mother-daughter owners of Real Results Real Estate. Last year, they had more than $10 million in earnings, so we wanted their views on the real estate market. They were happy to share. This is Business, Equity, and Opportunities, Industry Focus. So I was in new construction for about 13 years, and then the market tanked, right? So that's like 2008, 2009. The builder I was working with decided to leave the market. And so I found myself, um, by the grace of God, just two months before that, having my managing broker's license. And so with that, I was able to um, continue to help the clients that we had who had purchased a home but were no longer going to be able to have it built. So basically what happened is me and a girlfriend of mine decided to make a flyer and we put it on all the uh, spec home doors, the homes that we had already built that hadn't been sold yet, and the model home doors, and even some of the foundations that we had in the ground. And they all said, if you need your earnest money back or you need a place to live, call me. And that's how Real Results was born. <laughs> and I will tell you, that ended up being one of my best years in real estate up to that point. So it was really cool, but it was totally born out of problem solving. And so I like to think that's a unique strength of our brokerage. And one of the things we really focus on is really problem solving and helping people. What made me want to get into the real estate business? I have to say, growing up, I was reluctant because I was born into real estate with my mom. She worked for C.P. Morgan for a long time, more, house, more square feet, less money. So if anyone remembers that. So I was kind of a real estate baby. All of our friends were in real estate. I'm like, I'm never doing it. And so I went into marketing and event planning. I planned um, big national meetings for pharmaceuticals. But I did realize after a while that I'm an entrepreneur at heart and that that's really truly where I am. So I'm a 2020 COVID entrepreneur, okay? So the great resignation as we call it, that time um, I decided to be a part of that and I decided I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I was either going to be an event planner or I was going to be in real estate because you know, I had a built-in mentor with my mom. And um, I chose real estate and I'm glad I did because there were no events for two years <laughs> after 2020. So that was a really good decision. And um, I've been blessed in real estate uh, early on. Um, I have a niche of a lot of foreign nationals that I help in Indy. A lot of foreign nationals from Africa, um, Asia, and they are just an incredible referral resource. They are so committed, they're so dedicated to every part of their life. Um, and they're committed to me too. I mean, Indiana, a state that works, right? That's kind of our motto. And I, I seriously think that we do a great job of that in Indiana. One thing I will say is with my um, clientele that I work with a lot, they do plug into jobs quickly here. So even though the job market as a whole in America, I think is a little bit slow right now, in Indiana, people can find jobs really, really, really quickly. And they can be pretty decently paying, you know, 20 to $30 an hour, and that's not super skilled labor, you know? So we go into skilled labor, you can make even more money quickly. Um, and that's really important. When you're buying a house, if you've gone through the approval process, you know the income and debt play a huge role in your ability to buy and sometimes my clients want to get a, a new job pretty quickly in order to qualify and they're able to do that in Indiana so I think that that's a huge opportunity that we have our job market is really strong and like I said you know over 6,000 engineering jobs available um, the same with cyber security cyber security is such high demand right now with all of the, uh, as you probably know, the leaks and the threats, and we're always getting emails about, you know, something that's leaked our information. We need more cybersecurity analysts out there. So there's a lot of opportunity in Indiana um, to make that income, and our job market's strong. So I would tell you, it depends on what perspective you're looking at it from when you define the health of the market. So typically, you would define a healthy real estate market as six months worth of supply of homes on the market. Okay, so if another home didn't come on the market, it would take six months to sell all the homes that are on the market currently. We are still under two months of supply of homes on the market. So even though interest rates have gone up and that has slowed a little bit of buyers because it reduces their buying power, it hasn't helped increase the supply of homes on the market. And so until we have more supply, we're going to continue to have a market that's going to lean more towards property values increasing or at least stabilizing, not decreasing. 
So whether or not it's a good time to buy is such a personal decision because it depends on where you are in life and what stage you're at. Um, if you're, you know, in a transitional place, then maybe you want to wait until you're a little bit more permanent. But in terms of prices, whenever it's going to be a seller's market, it's not going to be a buyer's market. Whenever it's a buyer's market, it's not likely a seller's market. So you got to pick your poison. Because <laughs> if you're selling and buying, you're going to, you know, make up great on one end, but on the other end, you're going to feel the market. And so I just say um, it's a very personal decision. And that's why you need a really good real estate agent that can walk you through that, you know, con consult with you on the economics and the finances of home ownership because we all have a budget, right? So that is the way that, you know, I see in terms of healthy versus an unhealthy market. But it's a fantastic business to be in. 26 years, I still love it. There's so many different dimensions to real estate, so many different ways to get involved in it and to be successful at it. And it's very fulfilling helping people purchase, you know, usually the biggest purchase they're gonna make in their lives and the place that they're gonna call home and, you know, raise their family. I just, I don't think there's anything better. <laughs> If you'd like more information about this or any of our industry-focused segments, visit our website. Scan the QR code with your phone. It'll get you right there right now.